with Miami. Miami will only have two first-round picks. Here is Green Bay. Let's find out where they go. Let's go. The Miami Dolphins have traded the 26th pick to the Green Bay Packers. With the 26th pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select Jordan Love, quarterback, Utah State. Okay, this is fascinating because I believe Aaron Rodgers is the same age as Brett Favre was in 2005 when they selected Aaron Rodgers in the first round, stunning Brett Favre, and you have to wonder how stunned Aaron Rodgers might be that a quarterback is going 26th overall when Aaron Rodgers went 24th overall in the 2005 draft. But there you have the fourth quarterback in the first round, and this was a guy who was a late bloomer. You see there, 5'6", 130 when he entered high school. He's now 6'3", 224 pounds, and he broke the records at Utah State. Let's go back to NFL Networks. Kurt Warner, a Hall of Fame quarterback. Kurt, A, are you surprised by this move, first of all? Well, hey, yeah, I am surprised a little bit, Trey, is that obviously you have Aaron Rodgers, going to play a few more years, but wants to win now and wants to have some weapons around him to give him the firepower to be successful. But as you mentioned before, this worked out pretty well for him when they went and got Aaron Rodgers, when Brett Favre had a couple years left. So now they're just building for the future. A lot of people compare this guy to a Patrick Mahomes. He's got that upside, that athleticism, the ability to make some of those special throws that Green Bay has seen for a number of years with Aaron Rodgers. So it's about preparing for the future, getting that next quarterback. But I am a bit surprised because I know Aaron Rodgers is thinking, get me some more weapons. I want to win more before I retire. Yeah, it's philosophy. It's like, what do you think about a quarterback that could be the heir apparent, or do you help Aaron Rodgers and get him weapons? And there's a lot of depth at wide receiver. You find those guys into the fourth, fifth round. But for George Love, he's a developmental quarterback. He needs time to learn in the transition. Obviously, coming off a rough year at Utah State, losing all their starters on the offensive line, losing the weapons around him, losing his offensive coordinator and his head coach. Go back two years ago, he looked like a top 10, top 15 pick, potentially DJ, but too much at you can't, you can't reload at Utah State, losing all they did. He tried to do too much, but the arm talent you cannot coach. Yeah, no, no doubt, Mel. When you talk about the decision-making being concerning, that is absolutely true. But when you go look at the video and study this kid, he's got more talent than any other passer in this entire draft. Let me show you what I'm talking about when you see him. Watch him on the move, the roll right show you the touch the accuracy to be able to get this ball up and down very smooth very easy on the road against michigan state how about the ability to rip a skinny post in here can you fit a ball in a tight window watch the triangle of defenders he's able to squeeze that one in with premier velocity now can you read the full field he doesn't do a lot of it but you see glimpses of it like here against lsu working right to left his feet don't even follow his eyes he still is able to whip the ball out there to the flat very smoothly and then it's the creativity to be able to buy some time and to be able to throw on the move lsu think about the difference in talent between utah state and lsu this kid has a lot of ability but he's got to clean up the decision making yeah again he was phenomenal two years ago but again real quickly aaron Rodgers is 36 brett Favre was 35 so basically the same age when this happened but Jordan Love's story is fascinating on a lot of levels. And for more on that, let's check in with our Susie Cole. The Jordan Love story has been a wild card in this draft. And we're all surprised that Green Bay traded up to take you. Jordan, what about you? Oh, I'm just super excited. Uh, yeah, that's, that's just all the excitement right now. Would you have ever expected this? Hey, I mean... I didn't know what to expect coming into this, so, uh, you know, I'm super excited. I um, had some good talks with uh, coaching staff here at Green Bay, so I'm excited. So what do you think you can learn from Aaron Rodgers? Oh, I'm already knowing I can learn a lot from Aaron Rodgers. I mean, that's that's one of the, the goals right there in the game, and uh, you know, I'm excited to be able to come back behind him and just learn as much as I can. You know, especially now, we are all so appreciative of the people on the front lines and the people who protect us. Both your parents were in law enforcement. Uh, 
Tonight you fulfill your father's vision. How do you feel you've done that? Uh, I mean, just by all the work, you know, I put in to get here, um, the work that he, he, he got me here. I mean, really, uh, so I definitely fulfill my father's vision. Jordan, congratulations. You're going to the Green Bay Packers. <laughs> yes, I am. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, there you see uh, Orban Love, Jordan's father, with him and some of his siblings. For those that don't know the story, uh, Orban uh, took his life on July 13th, 2013, 16 days shy of his 52nd birthday. He was a member of the police force in Bakersfield, California. But he had just had a change in his blood pressure medicine, and he began acting very strangely after that. Jordan and everybody in the family wanted to go out of the way to say he was not a depressed human being. He didn't have those problems. They had tried to change his blood pressure medication once before, and there were some other strange behavioral issues, so they went back to the old med medication, but after it rose again, they tried another one, and not long after that, Orban uh, Love took his life. And in the, in the obituary, by the way, they wanted to make, say, to make sure that they said he was and I quote, taken by a medical demon. Uh, so it was the blood pressure medicine, the family believes, that caused some of that. So all of that, the background of Jordan Love, now the quarterback taken in the first round by the Green Bay Packers, coming off an NFC championship game appearance. And again, it was in 2005 uh, when Brett Favre was just about the same age. The Packers decided to take Aaron Rodgers in the first round at the 24th pick of 2005 draft. Okay, before we get to our next pick, 